want to go to school today. And why is that? I don't know. I'd rather stay home and read with you all day. You want to know a secret? I'd rather stay home and read with you all day too. But I have to go to work. Sounds like we both have to do something we don't want to do today. Well, have a good day at school. Fables when you get home. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I would love nothing more. I'll start the fireplace. Only if mom helps you. I know how to do it. Ask mom. <sighs> you don't trust me. I don't want the house to explode. Okay, whatever. Have an awesome day. I love you. Born with the heart of a golden lion. Like a cobra cayenne. Ripped through the cages and broken wire. I'm the chosen fighter, fit for the crown, there ain't no denying Gary, I need to speak with you in my office. Gary, I'm sorry. Sure thing, Charlotte. Um, just a couple more minutes and I'll be wrapped up. Come on in. Hey, Charlotte. Just a What's sec. Up? Okay. Thanks for coming over. It's been a day. I just want to preface this conversation to say that we as a team really appreciate you and the work you're doing. Your conversion levels have surpassed our projections for the quarter. Our team loves you. Thank what you. What you organized for Jared's family after the accident was incredible. Well, I mean... You're working so hard and you're often the last to leave. And this is what I wanted to address. Okay. What do you know about the mess in the break room last Thursday night? What mess? Well, uh, I got a disconcerting email from Jose, the building manager. Okay. A bunch of mustard squirted and smeared all over the break room. We had to replace a dozen ceiling tiles. Wow. The fact that you know nothing about this is deeply concerning to me. Look, we have scoured through the surveillance footage and you were the last to leave this office on Thursday night. <sighs> I've addressed the situation with HR, and there's no place for this kind of behavior within the walls of my company. I need to ask you straight up, Gary. Have you been squirting mustard in the break room after hours? <laughs> what? No. Seriously? precious metal at once. But when they cut it open, they found it was just like any other goose. Thus, they never got rich all at once, as they had hoped, nor enjoyed any longer of the daily addition to their wealth. Time for bed, Sophie. One more book, Daddy, please. I wish, sweetie, but we have a big day tomorrow, okay? Go on. Come on, Gary. I don't have to bed. It's time. She's coming, honey. Good night, little wisdom. We'll see you in the morning. Go to bed. Hi, Daddy. Forget famine. 
and feast forever and forever and forever. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. 